first things first, please forgive me if I mispronounce anything. I do not speak Japanese, but I will try my best. Built in 1978, Sunshine 60 is a 60-story, mixed-use skyscraper. It was the tallest building in Asia until 1985 and the tallest in Japan until 1991. Sunshine 60 was built on the location of the old Sugumo prison. The prison was built in 1895 and by the 1930s it was used to detain political prisoners, like communists and anyone who broke the peace preservation laws. In 1945, the prison was occupied by U.S. troops. War criminals awaiting trial were detained there. One famous, or rather infamous, prisoner was the Tokyo Rose. The U.S. troops left in 1952, but by that time, eight people had been executed in the prison. When Sunshine 60 was being built, construction workers reported seeing strange apparitions. Even stranger, people today report seeing fireballs floating down the halls. All evidence of the prison are gone, except for a stone that is engraved with the words, Pray for Eternal Peace. Rapongi Hills is a 27-acre area that includes office spaces, apartments, a museum, shops, restaurants, movie theaters, cafes, a hotel, a TV studio, an outdoor amphitheater, a 54-story skyscraper, and a few parks. It is an upper-class area where the residents are known as the Hills Tribe. Sounds like an idyllic place to live, right? No, the whole area is thought to be cursed. It is said that some of the 47 ronin are buried in the area. The Hills Tribe has a very high turnover rate because many of the residents have either lost their high paying jobs, lost their companies, been charged with fraud, or have skipped town in the midst of a scandal. The 54 story skyscraper named Mori Tower has had worse things happen. In 2003, two little girls were injured in the tower's revolving doors in two separate incidents. In 2004, a boy died after his head got trapped in the same revolving doors. After hearing all of this, would you want to be a part of the Hills Tribe? Dori Oto was created in 1875 by a wealthy merchant named Otsuka. The temple was visited by many people traveling a trade route known as the Silk Road. In 1908, a railroad was built and not as many people traveled the Silk Road. This, in essence, killed attendants for the temple. Three dark events caused the temple's destruction. The first happened in 1963. An 82-year-old woman was looking after the temple when she was confronted by a robber. She tried to fight him off, but she was killed. The heartless robber left her where she fell and robbed the temple. After this, people said they could hear the woman sobbing. Ten years later, a pregnant college student was strangled by her boyfriend, who was also a professor. If their relationship was made public, he would lose his job and his wife would probably leave him. He met his girlfriend at Shinjuku Station and the couple went to his country home. It was at his country home where he strangled her. He then buried her in a very shallow grave near the temple. The days after, the professor was becoming more and more suspicious. It is said that he asked his friends to provide an alibi for him. A little over a month later, some fishermen found the professor, his wife, and their two young children dead. Police think he either pushed his family off the cliff or convinced his wife it was the only option. Seven months later, the college student was found. The local newspaper reported that locals heard a woman's voice call out, Here! I'm here! from near where the college student was found. In 
In 1983, the temple was demolished, and all that remains now are a few ruins. One last thing that I found interesting is that the name of this building means End of the Road Temple. La, la.